Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to the College Match Magician Overview. Uh, the College Match Magician is a tool that is designed to take the thousands of schools from across the country and narrow them down to a set of 30 or 40 for our students to have a serious look at. It does this by taking the student GPAs and ACT score and then generating the proper barren selectivity category uh, for their match reach, reach and safety schools. And I think this is a pretty cool tool. Uh, although it may need a different name. Um, okay, so I think it works best by me just showing you how this works. Uh, so all students will have to do is plug in their GPA and ACT here. And so right now we're using a student with a 3.24 GPA and an 18 on the ACT. This is a real student, by the way. So when I plug in the 3.24 GPA and 18 ACT, it gives us a score using the Alma College matrix, which is right here, and then spits out the proper selectivity categories the student should be looking at. So this student's reach category, so this is their reach schools that they have around a 20% chance of getting into, would be in the highly competitive bracket. The match schools they should be looking at, where they have about a 50% chance of getting in, is the very competitive bracket, and the safety schools where they have nearly a 100% chance of getting in are, uh, would be in the competitive bracket for this student. Um, and as you can see here, I put three of each is what we're shooting for, three in each category with a mix of public and private schools. Okay, so now which schools? So what we've done here is in each selectivity category, put a set of recommended schools, again, to narrow the scope of schools that students are looking at from a couple thousand to around 30. The list of recommended schools is divided up into publics, right here, and privates, right down here. The majority of the public schools are local state schools that our schools will likely apply to anyway, um, aside from a few uh, different publics like Indiana University and University of Wisconsin. Um, the private schools are recommended for a variety of reasons. The ones down here are recommended for a variety of re reasons, but generally recommended because of some combination of having a high graduation rate, uh, high graduation rate for minority students, relatively high number of Pell eligible students, a more comprehensive application process, um, or, or, or are test optional, and perhaps most importantly, they have a track record of offering substantial need-based and merit-based aid. Ideally, if the students are applying to nine schools, we'd want at least three of the nine to come from this area down here, the private schools, so sort of one for each category, uh, but perhaps more. They could apply for more as well, up to, up to half maybe. So for this student, we can give them a list of schools to consider from this list. So once again, we have a student whose reach schools are highly competitive, so we'll go to the highly competitive category. The only public school in the state of Michigan that is highly competitive is U of M. So that will be one that we'll put. And I've just created a little Word doc to enter these uh, schools in for. And this is something we can just give to the student. So reach schools. We can put University of Michigan. And then for private, we can just put all these. And I'll go through. There's 10 schools here. And I'll go through in another video how we can decide which would be the best fit of these. And, and obviously students can expand from this list, but as, if we give them this list to start from and applying to nine from this list, they can apply to more obviously, but if they apply to nine from this list, we can be sure they've got all their bases covered. Um, so then their match schools, are in the very competitive bracket. So we'll take all these schools once again. We'll take Michigan State, Grand Valley, University of Michigan, Dearborn, Indiana, and Wisconsin from the public, and then all these private schools down here. And I'll just do a copy and paste. Quick note on Indiana and Wisconsin. Those are out-of-state public schools but sometimes the, the, the large flagships have a little bit more merit aid to give to really strong students. Um, so we just heard some students from the Noble Network got really generous scholarships at Indiana and uh, Wisconsin. And then 
their safety schools, remember, are in the competitive bracket. So we'll take the schools here. The publics are Western Central here in Michigan, and then Ball State in Indiana has reciprocity with Michigan. It's about the same level school. Uh, and then some of these small private liberal arts schools down here. We'll put those in here. Those will be the safety schools. And then we can give this list to the students. And then they can, from here, find uh, nine schools um, that they want to apply to with, in each category, at least one coming from uh, the private schools down here. And then at least one of the schools being an in-state public school. Now, within each category, there's still some work that needs to be done to figure out if a reach school really is a reach, or maybe it's too far out of reach, or perhaps a, a match school is, is to tell whether it's really a match or whether it is a reach school. But we'll go into that in another video. For now, um, just an, an overview of the College Match Magician, entering in GPA and ACT, spitting out the Baron Selectivity Rating in each category, and then we can give students this set of schools to look through first before moving on to, it, to any other parts of the search.